Hi, my name is Niska Padia. I go to Bombay Scottish School, Mahim. I play for Mumbai City FC under 11 category. Everyone in COVID used to play in my building down and I got inspired from my dad and them. So I really wanted to play football after that. It helps me improve as I play for the school girls team. The training over there was good, but I feel the training in Mumbai City FC is like a lot more harder, but it's also much better. It was actually really good. We beat one of the best teams in the tournament. We won 3 nil. I did like good defending also. Hi, this is Naila Kaparia. I'm a professional fitness trainer and mom to my 11 year old daughter playing with Mumbai City FC in the under 11 category. Hi, this is Imran Kaparia. I am a, a football father. Um, a marketing professional and uh, this is father who plays for Mumbai City FC under 11 category. We both are from the sports background. He actively plays football and I'm a fitness trainer so I'm coaching every day myself. So I think one is that the parents have that but also it's what you see in your child right and I think right from childhood she has that what it takes to play I think a team game and uh, we kind of just honed it and we see it grow. Why COVID happened and uh, you know everybody was locked in, everybody was indoors. Suddenly what we realized is that there is one very important aspect which was missing which was going out and playing. Uh, I think that really, it really took a natural turn. That one morning when kids came down, I think she naturally took off to football as a sport. It was never that she has to play a sport and that sport has to be football. It just came naturally. Honestly, think that it was not that challenging. A, because where it began from is most of the building didn't have kids her age who were girls who were actively playing. So when she started playing, it was always with the boys. Uh, then when she formally took over to getting trained for football, she happened to again be amongst the only girls in an all boys team so she and again she was pretty used to it so it was not that effort that you know there was no gender difference at that age in that sense from last year in in the tournament that she was playing one girl in the league to this year we've seen one girl in a team there most is of the one team, girl one in, in every almost team, every yeah. team at dpdl so, now so it's so very inspiring to it's see inspiring, it's, yes. it's i think there, there's no struggle it's only inspiration that that we take out of her and we're very happy that it's yeah, all yeah. those we're very leading her way yeah. we're very that's proud about it while the competition was there, I think she had to kind of then have the comfort zone with players who were not her comfort zone to begin with. So that's where I think the growth happened uh, with Mumbai City FC. She had to play with a variety of people. But that really kind of helped uh, in that sense of uh, the game is fun. Yes, you have a lot of fun, but then there is the serious training aspect. There's a serious competition aspect. Now you get along with the team you don't really know personally, you haven't played with before. So I think that icebreaker bit kind of happened over there and it definitely helped in its own way. So we were looking of a trajectory of sorts because we knew that she's good. She's been playing for school. There was this, this conversation that took over saying that there is a possibility of her playing in Mumbai City or FC at the under 11 boys team and we said that you know we jumped over it it's such a proud moment for us to see her wear the training kit or to see her wear the match kit get ready out there and and represent or such a huge club you know we can only we can only it's it's something that you can dream of i don't know how it really gradually happened but uh, but it's a very real moment for us i myself am very proud of it because because i know how much uh, it takes to be part of such a big club who's uh, you know who's representing at national international level now and when we see her wearing that patch wearing that jersey going out there playing for the team and holding on to the ball even for the moment even if that is that is a second of of game time i think it's a proud moment i think this is something that she will never forget but i think playing for mumbai city fc is something that it's it's, it's written now it's history you know you can't you can't take it away now now she's gonna live this moment she's gonna live this forever it's now engraved we're very i'm very proud i think the start the first interaction with the yeah. team for yeah. her was when uh, when coach mihir brought her in front of the team and presented a jersey he and said that this is this is your team player you know that that doesn't happen yeah. i mean yeah. it happened in a coaching situation training yeah. situation on the training ground but that is something that, you know, when we yeah. were outside and we were looking at it and I, and I have a video of it, I mean, we were very happy. We were like, you know, I was like oh, three inches <laughs> wider at that point of time, <laughs> saying that my daughter is, is being presented into such a big club. Yeah. So it all started with 
with a guidance call that I made to to Dinesh, right? Because I wanted to check with him and I wanted to understand from him that what do we do? Because if we want to put her in a all girls team, then what would his recommendation be? Who would he suggest? And what is his take on this? From that one call to her playing, uh, you know, the match last weekend, what I really felt and I was really, uh, you know, amazed with the whole. approach that it came with because it just didn't happen that okay fine she can come in and she can start training and we're on it happened with with proper professionalism in place what really impressed us was apart from anything that we discussed the most important aspect that was discussed all throughout our conversation was safeguarding i think that played such an important yeah. point of discussion so i just think the team overall holistically was is just so approachable and so deeply involved in um, you know the well being of the player that it's heartwarming to know that the club looks out at it uh, so articulately even at a grassroots level yeah, so it's yeah. commendable honestly i'm happy to do everything it takes as a parent to hone her skill and support her to do the things she does for as long as she wants in the hope that she will continue and this will make it big for her in her life so i'm just hoping that everything kind of destiny falls well into place but whatever it takes from our end to kind of push this in every way we can i think we are ready to do it what i think and what i see all throughout since the time when i've been seeing her play if she continues one is if she continues to play with the with the with the love that she has Hi. right now for another 5 6 years and this is what i say i could be wrong because i'm speaking as a father but if i just look at her and if i see her and as many people i speak to who see her play i see her playing for the national team at some point and i'm sure about it uh that is stage 1 right that is that is the ultimate aim that she represents the country and she she brings uh, glory to the country 